Hello, Chico Fue. How are you tonight? Amazing. Welcome to Video City. Thank you for having me. Where are you located exactly? Where are you quarantined? Are you quarantined in New York? Are you in Miami? Where are you right now? Right now, I'm in Metro Atlanta. I just came back from um, Jacksonville, Florida today. And how is it over there? Are they like all out and about like it's normal day? Or is it kind of a little, little bit more on low key? We was at the water park on Saturday. So the water yeah, parks are open. Wow, well, that's great. I've been working so I can't I can't just stay put in the house no matter what. I gotta work. Yeah, I feel you on that. So I actually watched your video. I think it's amazing. I think it's really dope. When did you know that music was your calling? Oh, uh, probably when I came out the womb. I was like, wham, 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 wham. <laughs> we wasn't crying <working, laughs> like no baby. We was we had a tune with. It. So you knew that music was your calling when you were literally a baby. Yeah, my mama hit me with a coca sauce, so made me get right. <laughs> Okay, and when did you actually start making music? Uh, I started doing music before I started making music. I was doing like freestyles at Rockfest because I did my first show in the third grade at Fulbright Elementary. We were singing on and I probably dropped my first song at like 15. I was on MTV at 16. Oh wow, that's amazing. Um, do you have anything currently in the works right now? Like any projects or anything going on? Yeah, right now I'm dropping like 21 videos, but I'm not going to release any until all of them are finished. So right now I'm at video number seven. In the last seven weeks, I shot seven videos. So oh, wow. Got about, That's amazing. I got about 15 more weeks to go. So basically you're collecting content and then all of a sudden you're going to drop them one by one by one? Yeah, but it's going to be like a takeover. It's not going to be like just drop it. Is it going to be like an album type of thing where it's like you have all the videos like ready and everything or is it just going to be Yeah, yeah, they all going to be Not to cut y'all. They all going to be ready. It'll probably be like a video album. Something like that. They're not going to tie into each other or nothing like that. Oh, wow. Well, that's okay. Working on now. I got a, a, a mixtape I just dropped on Deezer, iTunes, Tidal. Uh, Pandora, Amazon, Google. It's called uh, Foyage, the prelude, the mixtape. So it's the prelude to the Foyage album that's gonna be coming out real soon. Y'all working, you know, keeping the content fresh, keeping the music fresh. Absolutely. The projects fresh, keeping the vibes fresh. Yeah. Seeing the back, big life size cutouts. It's the snakes. Corona. Yeah, you're, you're definitely an song. artist. I could even yeah. tell by like your hairstyle and everything too. Like your hair in the oh, yeah. video was like very different too. I got a dreadlock back here. I got one growing up here. <laughs> that is definitely some artistic, some artisticness that you have to you. Um, what would you say yeah. influences your creativity? Just want to be original, not trying to be in anybody else's lane, doing my own thing. I'm the big. I'm, I'm my biggest critic. I'm my biggest influence. What would you say drives your force or motivates you every single day? Uh, not wanting to give up. Like everybody, well, not everybody, but too many people quit too soon. Like, like that picture of the man hitting a, hitting the wall with the diamond on the other side. Like he got one more stroke. I know exactly what you're talking he about. He could have got to the diamond, but. Instead, he like he just quit. Too many people give up. He when they quit write way up. too soon. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that, uh, that's what drives me like not to give up. Like why why give up? Like I motivate other people. People call me like, oh, you you motivated me to, to do this today. You you know you motivated me to do that today. So I feel good like making other people happy doing what they really want to do because a lot of people they just do what what they think they're supposed to be doing, not what they want to do. To make other people happy. So like me, I do exactly what I want to do, exactly how I want to do it. And, and two, that may help, help people like, I want to go back to doing what I'm doing. Like, damn all that other, damn all that other stuff. 
Absolutely. So would you say what dri a driving force for you is you inspiring other people? You want to be an inspiration to younger men or other artists or other people around you? You just want to be an inspiration to everyone around you? Uh, that's cool, but be being an inspiration to everybody, like, a lot of people ain't going to catch on because that's not their forte, but if they apply, if they seen the work ethic that I apply to what I got going on, they could apply that to what they were doing, they'll probably be in a way better place. <laughs> Definitely, that's for sure. Um, who would you say are some of your absolute favorite artists that you're listening to right now? Right now, today I was listening to big timers in the car. I'll be listening to people from the third coast, like Texas, like Tila, Young Star, A Ball, MJG, people from down south. Um, I got a variety of playlists, but it's all old southern music, southern hip hop. Southern hip hop is actually really good hip hop. Shit, Southern hip hop is shit. It just depends on who you are. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people will, some people won't. <laughs> um, who is your favorite like artist that had the most influence on you? Master P, gotta be Master P. Oh, and Young G, Young G's too. When I was heavy in the street, I was listening to Young G. He had a lot of influence on, on like my life, a lot of life decisions in the street. Where do you see yourself with music in five years? In the next two years, I, I I need to be on the shit. In the next six to twelve months, I need to be on the Billboard chart. In the next twelve months, I need to be getting some awards, some Billboard awards, some Artist of the Year. In the next five years, I probably ain't even gonna be making no music. <laughs> I probably invested it all already. I'm probably uh, vacation. I've been doing this a long time. So you see yourself going on tour and basically performing in front of huge crowds all over the world. Oh yeah, but you know I don't I don't sponsor my own tours so many years. It's like I did been there, done that. Like what's next? Like <laughs> only thing left for me now is get the big check, invest it all, and sit back and get found. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that. I always think about how I'm gonna invest my money and always make my money grow. That's always the goal of money. Are you signed currently? We make magazine covers, front cover to magazine. We, I mean, we make pe periodicals. We doing all kind of stuff that people ain't doing. So, like I said, nothing new under the sun. Like, it's my time though. It's my turn. Absolutely. Um, are you signed with any music labels yet? Yeah, I've, I've ran through a few contracts already. I'm currently with Big Moon Records out of Atlanta, a, a real Southern pioneer in like rap, hip hop, and Southern hip hop. Like, um, laid the foundation in Atlanta. So I'm right where I need to be at. I'm right at home. That's great. That's perfect. That's like super convenient. It's, you know, like hometown and stuff like that. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody in Atlanta know who, who that is. So like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm right, I'm right, in, I'm right in a real good spot. <laughs> if you had to collab with one artist, he could be dead, he could be alive. Who would you collab with, and why? I, I ain't big on collaboration. But if I had to choose, it'd be a few. It wouldn't be just one. It'd be like Bone Thugs, like Tupac, and probably like, and probably like any of the Southern Pioneers, Three Sig Mafia, Eight Ball MJG, Tila. Like, like I said, I'm real big on Southern hip hop, Southern rap. When they stopped hip hop and we started rapping, like and I was, now the South got it in the Cobra Clutch chokehold. <laughs> what, um, what, what do you want your music to say to people? I just want my music to continue to tell my story the right way. Nobody, nobody could, could tell my story like I could tell my story. And nobody could beat me at being me. And it, people should, you know, look at that and say, well, that's, that's true for myself as well. Like, once people get that, then they know that they number one no matter what. 
So nobody can beat you at being you, whoever you are. Like the man to the right of me, nobody can beat him at being him. And he probably know who he is. You know what I'm saying? So if people apply that to themselves, then everybody gonna know that they really number one. Everything else is just a facade. I like that. So you're basically saying you want to stay true to yourself the whole time and you want to just speak your truth and you want people to relate to you based on who you are. You don't want to change anything up at all. No, nah, I'm always going to speak my truth. I can't tell you about somebody else's truth. So I, I'm not out there judging people, being political with people. Eric, let bygones be bygones. I got my own agenda. And Absolutely, I love not that. Music. Not to cut y'all, but people need to know they should have their own agenda. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be jumping shit, like, jumping wagons, and things like that. I feel like authenticity honestly speaks for itself, and, and with your music, I could definitely feel the authenticity in it, which I am gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna actually take uh, you guys into the video. Did a mile by Chico Fue. And you guys can see, <laughs> you guys can see for yourselves just how dope this music is. Yeah, it's pretty dope. And y'all should teach y'all children to learn sign language. It's real easy. The ABCs of sign language take about five minutes. I'm talking five-year-old little stepdaughter. I should learn that myself. I don't even know sign Look. language. <laughs> Is there anything, any shout outs that you want to shout out while you're here on the air? Shout out to y'all, Video City. Shout out to Chico Foy. Shout out to the haters. Shout out to the congratulators. Shout out to the procrastinators. You know, we kiss babies and shake hands on this end. We campaign. We grind hard. We ain't going to stop. Till the casket drop, we here. <laughs> Chico Foy. The grind don't stop. We'll be right back. Yo. Oh, y'all boy looking like baby. I can't hit a workout or something. Man, you know we can't work out. You know what's going on. Oh, I see y'all trying to get fit for the right bowl, huh? Yo, yes, we gotta sir. get right. We gotta get, right. We gotta get straight. You know that. Shit. Which one of y'all boys running in three miles? <laughs> three Only miles. the police behind me. Hey. <laughs> three miles, <laughs> bitch. I've been running my whole life, bitch. I, ain't, <laughs> I don't know about three miles, <laughs> man. I done did a mile Did it with a smile I've been way up the road I done did a mile Did it with a smile I've been way up the road I done did a I done did a mile I did a hundred of Wow. 
promise. Yes, well, I promise. That's well, I promise. Up the way up the road. Up the way up the road. I don't need a mile. Get it with a smile. Up the way up the road. I don't need a mile. I've been way in the road. How to did a You can't play no ball, nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you lost that one, boy.